Just six weeks to go until the first classic of the season, the 2000 Guineas at Newmarket on May the 4th. And as usual here on Racers Now, we look forward to it with a lot of excitement and hype and we build up to it every single year. Yes, the, the jump season may have only just finished or not even finished yet. The Cheltenham Festival was only last week, but already we are starting to see some movers and shakers in the anti-post markets for both Guineas at the start of May. As we well know City of Troy is all the rage for Aidan O'Brien after he has done his usual stable update to the press. This week, City of Troy is apparently in rude health. Would you expect any other? And now as sure as four to six for the Guineas at this early stage, still six weeks to go and he is already odds on. That's pretty short, but as we know, he could be very, very good. And I hope he is. I'm really excited to see City of Troy. I've never, I've not looked forward to a two-year-old returning as a three-year-old so much for quite a number of years, to be honest. And I've already covered him on this channel with plenty of excitement. O'Brien O'Brien has also reported uh, a loose schedule, really, for City of Troy this year, if all goes to plan. Guineas, Derby, Travers Stakes in America, which is on dirt at Saratoga in August, and possibly a tilt at the Breeders' Cup Classic at the end of the year. Um, I think it's at Del Mar this year, the Breeders' Cup. So really, really exciting times ahead. We've not really seen a leading classic contender in the UK, particularly for O'Brien, UK and Ireland then go over and in the same season compete in dirt races. We've not seen that for a very long time. Galileo tried it. Galileo, who won the derby way back when, and then uh, went on to try and win the Breeders' Cup as well on his final start. So, yeah, really, really exciting times uh, in and around this city of Troy, and we can't wait to see him back. He doesn't look a derby horse to me, an Epsom derby horse. I just think he's all speed. I think the city of Troy was spectacular last year in the speed that he showed, but if they're going to, they, they may well or will do try the derby if indeed he does go on and win the derby and win the guineas, which he is four to six currently to do so. I do like Ros Rosalian. I'm on record as saying I really like him. I put him up as an obvious each way bet on the channel here a few weeks ago at around 10 to one. I thought each way he was looked as pretty sure and runner, and I thought he was second best in the market, a long way clear second best just at this year city of troy uh is all the rage um he's seven to one best price now this rosalian uh or rosalian however you want to say it for richard hughes he is an intended runner richard hannon should i say he's an intended runner and richard hannon says that rosalian will go straight to new market if he has to uh, he will be avoiding soft ground and this horse is a different animal on quicker ground the quicker the better so if it is any description of soft uh in and around the greenham at newbury uh towards on eight April the 20th, that is, uh, Rosalian won't go to that and he will go straight to the Guineas where it is likely, much more likely to be quicker as it drains at Newmarket like a sieve. Another unbeaten Aidan O'Brien call is Henry Longfellow and he is likely to avoid City of Troy and go elsewhere. Uh, and unusually for this time, we've already seen a Guineas contender out and about and in public and in a race. And we're only in March and that one is uh, Carl Burke's Night Raider. Uh, uh, at Suvel, that was earlier this week. He is now two from two at Suvel on the Tapita. Won his first start by nine lengths, and then he won this week by over five lengths in a very easy and pretty healthy on the clock, as far as I could see. I'm not a clock merchant, but those who uh, who pay attention to such things, he was clocking like 11 second furlongs there on the Tapita. It looked pretty good to me. Someone else with a, a, a better brain will delve into those times, I'm sure. But I've got no idea how good this Night Raider is. Someone at a certain company that uh, operate out of Leeds put him to 8-1 to one on the back of that uh, very uh, easy Suvel win, which was one of the worst prices you'll see. He is now around about top price, 14-1, to one, and may or may not run beforehand. Um, Carl Burke said uh, that the, the jockey, Danny Tudhope, said he could well need another run. Um, possibly in the Greenham, or just go straight there. But as I just mentioned, touched on earlier, this Henry Longfellow, who is likely to avoid the 2,000 guineas at Newmarket because City of Troy is going to be in there. Um, Aidan O'Brien has said that City of Troy may well be, although plans are loose at this time, may well be his only contender in the 2,000 guineas at Newmarket, which would be significant given over the last 14 years, Aidan no, Brian has averaged about 2.4 runners a year in the Guineas. So if uh, City of Troy is a lone ranger uh, for the Bally Doyle outfit, that would be significant. So you could actually start putting a line through. Anti-post wise, you could put a line through. Henry Longfellow, who, who was single figures. Um, River Tiber, Diego Velasquez, unquestionable, etc., etc. 
Petra, you can start putting a line through them. And next thing you know, we might be dealing with a smaller field than usual. 14.5 is the 10-year average field in the 2000 guineas. Uh, uh, and we might actually be, uh, be already looking odds against to get to that many this year. So I'm more than happy with the bet on Rosalian that I put up a few weeks ago each way. I am on at 10 to 1. I hope you are too. At much, much bigger prices, we've seen a bit of blue on uh, um, in the odds this week, a bit of shortening on this Suns and Lovers. Uh, it was a bit of a market mover, 66 into 40 to 1 after Jane Chappellheim said that he had worked very well on the gallops. Yes, the form of this Suns and Lovers debut has worked really well. He won a day, he won a uh, maiden on debut at Newmarket at the back end of last year, where the third, fourth, and sixth have all won since. But whoever is cutting prize prices on the basis of horses apparently working well should be banned that that shouldn't be allowed to happen you know you can't be you, we don't know how much they're carrying how hard they tried how fit they were who they're who they're galloping against that's not on for me but plenty to look forward to for the 2000 guineas and yes there will be plenty of updates here on races now so make sure you uh, ch check it out and we've also got some selections already up for this weekend the first flat meeting of the season at Doncaster the Lincoln so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon